क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वॉट इज बैक के एम एफ एंड वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ बैक के एम एफ इन डी सी मशीन When the armature conductor rotates in the magnetic field, then as per the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, EMF is induced in the armature conductor. This induced EMF is called as back EMF or counter EMF. The EMF is induced in the armature because of the generator action. The formula for back EMF can be written as back emf it is denoted by eb is equal to p n phi z divided by 60 a where where p is equal to number of poles n is equal to speed of armature in rpm phi is equal to flux per pole in weber z is equal to total number of conductors and a is equal to number of parallel path now this back emf tries to oppose the supply voltage but the magnitude of back emf is always less than the applied voltage in order to understand what is the importance of back emf consider a diagram of dc shunt motor as shown this figure shows the electrical circuit for dc shunt motor here the total current i due to the supply voltage v gets divided across the armature and across the shunt field let current which flows through the armature is ia and the current which flows through the shunt field be ish if we see when the supply is given and current starts to flow the voltage causes the induction of back kmf eb in the armature this is because of the fact that the armature conductor cuts the magnetic field now as the armature conductor is cutting the magnetic field emf is induced in the armature conductor we know that this induced emf always acts in opposite direction to the supplied voltage now voltage has to overcome the effect of back kmf eb so that the current ia can flow through the armature hence whatever work done by the voltage for letting the current ia to flow through the armature against the back kmf eb gets converted into electrical energy hence the presence of back emf is very important for working of dc shunt motor because back emf causes the conversion of electrical energy to the mechanical energy in case of dc shunt motor we have already seen that back emf opposes the supply voltage but the polarity of back emf is always less than the supply voltage therefore the net voltage acting on the dc shunt motor can be given by net voltage is given by v minus eb now we know that as per ohm's law we can write the equation as v minus eb is equal to ia ra where
आई ए इज इक्वल टू आर्मेचर करंट आर ए इज इक्वल टू आर्मेचर रेजिस्टन्स व्ही इज इक्वल टू सप्लाय वोल्टेज एंड ई बी इज इक्वल टू बैक ई एम एफ नाव रीअरेंजिंग द अबव इक्वेशन वी गेट आई ए इज इक्वल टू व्ही मायनस ई बी अपॉन आर ए नाव वी नो द फॉर्म्युला फॉर बैक एम एफ विच इज गिवन बाय ई बी इज इक्वल टू पी एन फाय झेड डिवायडेड बाय सिक्स्टी ए इक्वेशन नंबर टू फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी कॅन से दॅट अवर बॅक के एम एफ इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू स्पीड देअर फोर ई बी इज प्रपोर्शनल टू स्पीड बट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन वी कॅन से दॅट आय ए इज इक्वल टू व्ही मायनस ई बी डिवायडेड बाय आर ए नाव इन दिस इक्वेशन द वॅल्यू ऑफ सप्लायड वोल्टेज अँड आर्मेचर रेजिस्टन्स इज कॉन्स्टंट हेन्स वी कॅन सी दॅट आर्मेचर करंट आय ए प्रॅक्टिकली डिपेंड्स ऑन द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ बॅक ई एम एफ बट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन थ्री द बॅक ई एम एफ इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू स्पीड हेन्स वी कॅन से दॅट आर्मेचर करंट आय ए इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू स्पीड नाव If the speed of motor is high, if speed of motor is high, the value of back EMF will increase. If the value of back EMF will increase, the value of current will decrease. Hence, for high speed motor, the current is low. Vice versa, if the speed is low. if speed is low the back emf will be low hence from this equation the value of current will be high hence we can conclude that back emf is very important in operation of dc machine due to the presence of back emf the electrical energy gets converted into mechanical energy also we have seen that the back emf generates the amount of current that is required for working of the dc motor thank you friends for watching this video stay tuned with ekida and do subscribe our channel ekida thank you